salute to the squad and the family, bro. And we're going to start this one like this. Oscar, Oscar, hating as Oscar, bro. And I'm going to keep this video respectful, bro, and speak my mind how I always do. Oscar De La Hoya, man, I feel like Canelo Alvarez at this point just lives rent-free in his mind. Oscar De La Hoya, in all reality, hates Canelo Alvarez so much to the point that he's endorsing and backing the UFC as they have that event the same night as Canelo Alvarez is versing, um, you know, Edgar Berlanga. Oscar De La Hoya went on to call Canelo Alvarez's fight a snooze fest with Berlanga. Oscar De La Hoya went on to say that, you know, um, it's not going to do over 100K buys and, and he's ripping the people off and, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to go ahead and say this, man. Oscar De La Hoya is trying to trash Canelo Alvarez event so much because he hates him so much to the point where I feel like Oscar De La Hoya, man, is disrespecting the sport that he says he loves so much in boxing. Let's not forget that Dana White is not the biggest Oscar De La Hoya fan, man. Dana White does not hold back when it comes to dissing Oscar De La Hoya and Oscar De La Hoya hating Canelo Alvarez so much. It's almost like it doesn't even matter all the stuff that Dana White has said about him in the past and in, and in present times, um, you know. I feel Oscar De La Hoya, man, got to a point, bro, where he's not only disrespecting Canelo Alvarez when it comes to this event because he's trying to trash the whole event, you know, as a whole. So Oscar De La Hoya is, at this point, disrespecting Roley and his his opponent. Oscar De La Hoya is disrespecting Caleb Plant and, and, and McCombie, you know, at this point. Oscar De La Hoya is disrespecting Danny Garcia and Lara at this point. And we all know, man, you know, Danny Garcia... In my opinion, when he was more active, he had one of the best resumes in boxing, bro. You guys can, you know, call it and try to twist it how you want, man. The facts don't lie, man. That black and white, you know, doesn't lie. Men lie, women lie. The facts are always going to remain the facts. You're disrespecting this man. I feel like, you know, uh, Danny Garcia, in my opinion, a lot of people are saying he, if he wins this fight, he's solidified. I feel like he's already solidified to be in the Hall of Fame. I feel like Laura, man, you know, one of the best fighters we had. People can make an argument that he should be in the Hall of Fame, bro. Caleb Plant, one of the biggest stars we have, you know, all of us that are into boxing, especially at the super middleweight division, bro, this dude's been in the ring with Benavidez and Canelo, you're disrespecting these dudes, man, Roly Romero, we all know, man, we love to watch his um, press conferences and all that, because this man really knows how to sell a fight, Oscar De La Hoya's hate for Canelo Alvarez, at this point, I feel like he doesn't realize what his old, you know, clap back Thursday situation, um, over there clapping and whatnot, you're dissing this event, you know, thinking that you're just dissing Canelo Alvarez, but you're dissing all of these dudes on this fight card. You're dissing the whole, um, you know, boxing world when it comes to this night, I feel, because of your hatred for Canelo. You're supposed to be an OG in the game, bro. How can you hate on Berlanga this much when you're supposed to be partners over there with Eddie Hearn, bro? You know, how can you be saying this man doesn't deserve the fight? Bro, you were trying to sign this man, bro. You were trying to sign him. So your hate for Canelo goes so deep that you're dissing all of these individuals without even realizing at this point what you're doing, bro. And I'm saying this respectfully, and I'm speaking my mind, and I feel like everything I'm saying at this point is all facts, bro. You got to take that hate out of your heart. At the end of the day, you know, the two people that really know what happened is you and Canelo. But I feel like you keep bringing it up so much that something is haunting you in the back of your head. Something is really bothering you. And I'm not a rocket scientist, bro, but I have to go ahead and say when it comes to men in general, bro, if it ain't the money, it's always a woman, bro. And in your guys' case, I feel like it's definitely financial, bro. That dinero, that moolah, that everybody be working for every single day of our lives, that rat race, no matter what field we're in. But it has to come to a point where you have to act like you are the OG, bro. And stop bringing this shit up all the time. I mean, you hate this man so much. You're trying to trash this man's event. We all see that the UFC also has been losing money. Rolling the dice to have their event the same night on Mexican Independence Day weekend as Canelo Alvarez is fighting Berlanga. And we all know how huge of boxing fans Mexicans are and Puerto Ricans. Bro, you got to take that hate out of your heart because at this point... Honestly, bro, it's making you look bad and it's making you look corny. And you're one of the pioneers, you know, for this new generation of boxers, bro, and fight fans. It's just not a good look, bro. You're over there, 
shirtless clapping away, bro. It's a hatred that you have for this man, bro. It's quite hilarious at this point, bro. At this point, he's living rent-free in your mind, Mr. De La Hoya, respectfully. But you got to understand, bro. You know, if you dislike Canelo, keep it at that, bro. But you hate this man so much that you're endorsing the UFC, knowing that Dana White can't stand your ass in all reality. But you're not realizing that you're dissing this whole event, bro. You're dissing Edgar Berlanga, a man that has an opportunity to change his family's life, bro. Saying he's a fake Puerto Rican, bro. People were calling you a fake Mexican. You didn't like that, bro. We all know when you when you beat Chavez and, and all that. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You need to do better than that, man. As an OG in the game. I'm going to say it again, bro. You're disrespecting that whole fight card and everybody that's participating in that event. And as a matter of fact, I feel like you're disrespecting the boxing fans that are going to purchase that event. Because at the end of the day, you're calling us dummies and suckers, bro. Because we're going to pay $90 to support that event. Because we're we're boxing fans, fight fans. You know what I'm saying? And there's no disrespect to the UFC, man. To each their own, bro. We don't all have to love the same thing. You know, we can love one thing more than we love the other thing, bro. If you like boxing, good for you. If you like UFC, good for you, bro. Some people like golf, baseball, so on and so forth. Some people like all of that stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just corny at this point. It's corny. It's corny, bro. And, and I feel like sometimes, bro, you're not thinking before you're speaking. You're not thinking before you're speaking, my bro. You're just not. You know, a lot of us, you know, and, and when it comes to people that are fans of a certain fighter, sometimes I think it's wrong, too. I'll, I'll admit it. You know, sometimes we don't get the fights that we want to get. But back in the days when Mayweather fought, all his fans wanted to watch him fight, bro. All the people that want him to lose were going to watch him fight regardless. Same with you, bro. When you fought, it didn't matter who you fought. People that were rocking with you, they're going to tune in. Same same with Pacquiao, you know. Same with even dudes like in recent times, whether it's Keith, uh, Keith Thurman or Danny Garcia, man. It's corny, bro. You need to stop it. This dude is living rent-free in your mind. And don't forget, bro, you need to probably think before you speak. Because you're disrespecting the whole fight card and you're disrespecting all the boxing fans that are going to support this event. Because of the hatred that you have for one man. That's what I got to say about this, bro. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk, man. Salute to everybody that's been rocking with me. Sub to the channel, man. Liking the videos, commenting, man. I love all of you guys, bro. Appreciate all of the support. We're still trying to grow out here. And all of these videos that I drop, bro, you know, whether it, it, my opinions could be controversial, I'm always going to speak my facts, bro. And what I believe is right. We out of here until the next video, man. Peace and blessings to all of you.